Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be going over men's essentials that you guys need for 2021. So summer is definitely my favorite time of year, but it can be a bit of a challenge trying to look good and still wear something functional that you won't be sweating your butt off in the second that you step outside. I've put together a list of some essentials that I think all of you guys would absolutely rock this summer. I know some of you guys live in very warm climates, so there's gonna be something on this list for everyone, I promise. These would all be awesome to wear when you're enjoying your time outside this summer, if you're by the pool, if you're flipping burgers at a cookout, whatever the heck you're doing this summer, there's going to be something on this list that will be awesome for you. So even if you find yourself having a lot of the things on this list already, I think it is just nice to get a little bit of a refresh. Maybe there's some things in your closet that you totally have forgotten about. Before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to enter my $1,000 watch giveaway with teddybaldasar.com. The link to the giveaway form is in the description down below, so be sure to fill that out and go Good luck. Number one, we have a linen shirt. So a linen shirt is probably one of my favorite of all time for the summertime. It's the perfect summer shirt. It's breathable, it's lightweight. It's just really the perfect shirt for summer. And just a little reminder here for all the shirts you're wearing in the summertime, you're gonna wanna choose things that are made of natural fibers instead of synthetics. Synthetics, even though sometimes they can be a little bit more cheaper, they tend to reduce the breathability and trap in moisture. So if you're someone that sweats a little bit more during the summertime, stay away from those synthetic fibers and go towards the natural ones like the cotton, the linen, all the good stuff. So like I said, linen shirts are just one of my all-time favorites and I think they look absolutely incredible if you just roll up the sleeves, show a little bit of skin, a little bit of forearm. It's just perfect for the summertime. They look breezy, they look effortless, they're very casual. They just really look great with anything in the summer. If you don't know what to pair it with, I think they often look great with shorts. They can look great with a pair of chinos, a pair of linen pants if you wanna do a double linen there. Whatever your heart desires, I think you cannot go wrong with a linen shirt. Linen always just looks really effortless and is the perfect choice for a summer day since it's so breathable. Um, so I would go for a long sleeve and then just roll up the sleeves if you get a little bit hot. I think a long sleeve linen shirt with the sleeves rolled up looks a lot better than a short sleeve linen shirt. So of course you can do whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you prefer, but that's just my pick for this list specifically. Number two, basic t-shirts. These are a staple for every single season, but especially the summertime. These are great in the summer to just wear on their own. In the spring and the fall, I think these are great as layering pieces, but in the summertime, you can just go basic t-shirt all the way. You don't need a jacket over it. You could always wear a jacket at night if it gets a little bit chilly, but this is just the perfect effortless outfit. These look good with pretty much anything. You can pair them with any pant and be totally fine. Um, they're kind of like the shirt version of a pair of denim. It's gonna be your workhorse. It's just really gonna go with everything you have and be very versatile. So you can't go wrong with a basic t-shirt. Number three, we have the short sleeve button down. So it's different than the long sleeve linen because I chose a short sleeve here. And what I really like about the short sleeve shirts that I've been seeing lately is that they often have really fun patterns. I'm normally not much of a pattern girl. I normally prefer things to be a little bit more plain. The shirt that I'm wearing is one of the only pattern shirts I think I have. But with a short sleeve linen shirt, I think it looks great. It's a great way to be a little bit more expressive, show a little bit more of your style and personality. If patterns are something that you're into, this is a great place to do it. And a little tip here, if you have a short sleeve shirt and you cuff the sleeves, you roll the sleeves up a little bit, chef's kiss, this looks amazing. It makes your forearms look really big and defined. Um, it's gonna look a lot better rolled up than it will if you don't roll it up. I think a lot of times I see short sleeve shirts and I think this is honestly the reason why I didn't like them as much in the past is because they were always very boxy, not figure flattering and just kind of drowned guys when they would wear them. But if you roll up the sleeves, it adds a little bit more definition to your arm. It makes your arm look a lot bigger because it fits a little bit tighter. It just looks so much better. So if you're someone that's thinking, eh, I don't really think I look good in the short sleeve pattern shirts, I would recommend trying to roll up the sleeves and see if it changes your mind. If patterns just are not your style, there's also a ton of really great solid options. You can't go wrong with either one, but like I said, I think the most important thing here is rolling up that sleeve. I think it looks incredible. It just makes it look a little bit more modern and not so loose and boxy if it fits you that way. So love. Number four is the chino. So a chino is a staple for every guy's wardrobe. You should have at least one pair, in my opinion. Chinos are often more breathable and cool than a pair of denim, and they look great dressed up or down. You could dress them down with a pair of sneakers or dress them up a little bit with a pair of loafers. They're very versatile, and that's what I love so much about them. So just being transparent here, the crazy colored chinos are not my cup of tea. I despise them. I know in college I would see guys wearing like salmon color or coral, and 
and I absolutely hated them, but I think there's a ton of really great options. If that's your thing, then totally go for it. I don't have to be approving everything that you wear that's silly, you should wear what you like, but I prefer the more traditional colors like the tan, navy, charcoal, um, sage green can be a good one. Even like a rust color could be really pretty, um, but just something that is versatile and is gonna go with some different things in your wardrobe is the best choice in my opinion. Number five, we have denim. So even though the chino pant is kind of the pant you should be reaching for a little bit more in the summertime because it's cool and breathable, denim can still be an amazing option too. And to be honest, I think denim is just a staple for every single season. In the summertime though, you guys can get away with wearing the light wash or the medium wash denim a little bit more than you could in the winter time. So it's still not my favorite, but I know a lot of you guys like them and you look great in them. So I'm not gonna deprive you of your light wash denim. I think they can make a great choice as well. As long as they aren't super distressed, you get an A in my book. The reason for that is because a thick selvage denim is going to be incredibly hot and stuffy and uncomfortable in the summertime. And I would not wish that on my worst enemy and definitely not any of you. So I think it's okay Okay to get a pair that's a little bit more stretchy or lighter wash in the summertime in the hot months of the year. Number six, we have sweat shorts. I absolutely love these. I really love when a guy wears a very casual, effortless outfit. I think a pair of sweat shorts with some sneakers and just a basic t-shirt makes a really simple, easy outfit that always looks great. So again, here for the colors, I would stay a little bit more basic with a gray, a navy, a black, a charcoal, something like one of those. Number seven, we have cotton shorts. So basically these are just like chino shorts they're the same material pretty much as a chino pant just as a short so what i love so much about these in comparison to the sweat short is that they can be dressed up a lot more so if you were going somewhere nice but you still want it to be functional and cool um, and you don't want to sweat your butt off i would say that a chino short is a great choice in comparison to a chino pant because you're letting more air in there and you're going to feel a lot cooler so you could wear a pair of the cotton chino shorts with a linen t-shirt and a pair of loafers or sneakers and be 100 percent good to go. These are a great option. Like I said, if you need to dress up a little bit more, I think these are probably the best option for shorts if that is the case for you. Um, they just look nicer than like a pair of sweat shorts or something like that. Number eight on my list is a pair of sneakers. I think sneakers are a staple all the time, but they're great in the summertime, especially if you find yourself being more casual, dressing down a little bit more. You guys know I typically prefer a white sneaker. I know that's not some of your guys' favorite thing. And if you absolutely despise white sneakers, you're thinking, Courtney, I would never wear a white sneaker or buy a white sneaker there's tons of other options out there too you could get a gray a brown a blue something like that that's going to match a lot of things that you already have um, i would just stick to a more basic solid color something that doesn't have a ton of patterns or different colors on it so where it's going to match more of your stuff a shoe is one of those things that you want to be a little bit more versatile you don't want to buy something to match one outfit that you have you want to buy a pair of shoes that are going to match a ton of stuff that you already have because shoes are a little bit more expensive I think it makes sense to buy something more versatile. And I also always recommend having a pair of workout sneakers and then a pair of casual sneakers that are separate because I think workout shoes are meant to be worked out in. I think sometimes if you wear them just casually, it can wear them down a lot more. And to be just honest, they don't look the greatest with a nicer outfit. So if you were wearing a really great outfit and then you had on a pair of running shoes, if, the, if you're not going for like an athleisure type of look, I think it can really ruin your outfit, especially if you're wearing like a pair of chinos or a pair of jeans with a pair of like New Balance running shoes not the best look. So I would just make sure you have a pair of casual sneakers as well. So personally, I would recommend a white sneaker. I know there's some negatives to those, like they get very dirty, they're harder to keep clean. Um, so if that isn't your cup of tea, then there's plenty of other options out there as well that will fit you in your personal style if white sneakers are not your thing. Next up, we have a pair of loafers. I absolutely love loafers in the summertime. I think they look great if you wanna get a little bit more dressed up, um, but you don't wanna wear that traditional dress shoe or the boot with the dress socks that are going to suffocate your feet. So these are a nice way to let your feet breathe a little bit and I absolutely love the look of them. So with loafers, you could go with a no-show sock if you're not someone that doesn't like to wear socks. It's totally up to you and your personal preference, but either way you choose, you'll be good to go. So like I said, the loafers look good with chinos. They look good with a pair of shorts and a linen shirt. They go with so many different things, especially in the summertime. I just love the look of them. Number 10, we have a denim jacket. These are perfect for those nights when it might get a little bit chilly when the sun's not out. I think this just really looks 
summery. It's good for spring too, but I think this can easily transition into summer, especially if you get a lighter wash, lightweight fabric. Number 11 is a pair of sunglasses. You guys knew this was gonna be on here. I love wearing sunglasses and I need to wear sunglasses because my eyes are super sensitive. So if you guys are in the same boat as me, I think these are a must have, especially for the summertime for protecting your eyes. Not only are these a great style accessory to have, but they're also functional. You guys know I love that two in one and sunglasses are a must have for every single guy out there. Number 12, we have a hat and the style that you choose is gonna be totally up to you. If you're someone that dresses a lot more casual, um, you dress very laid back and effortless, then maybe a baseball cap is gonna be the best option for you. But if you're someone who gets a little bit more dressed up, maybe you would get a Panama hat or something that's a little bit more fancy. This one is totally gonna depend on your personal preference, what you wear on a daily basis and what you normally gravitate towards. So you don't need to get a specific type of hat. I don't wanna zone in too much here because I think it really does depend on you and your style. A lot of you guys dress very differently and would look silly in a Panama hat if that's totally not your thing. So just get what fits best for you, but I think having at least one hat is great for those bad hair days and great for that extra protection from the sun. Um, so definitely make sure you have some sort of hat. Number 13 is a summer fragrance. You guys know that I love fragrances. I've done a couple fragrance videos in the past and it's something that I just really enjoy. I have a lot of summer fragrances myself and I'm getting really excited to wear them as the weather warms up. So I think choosing a summer fragrance or just a fragrance for the season that you're in in general is something that's often really overlooked and I think a lot of people don't know that, you know, a very sweet, heavy gourmand fragrance is maybe not the best fragrance for the summertime. So you're gonna wanna get something that's a little bit more fresh, a little bit more light, a little bit more refreshing, just something that's going to really transition well into the hot summer months and smell good on your skin. So of course, I will put a few of my favorite summer fragrances up on the screen for you guys, but ultimately what you choose is 100% up to you. Not all of us have the same taste, but just get something that is formulated for the summertime, something that's light or floral or citrusy, Whatever it is, just something that really works in those warmer months. Number 14 is a pair of no-show socks. These are great for summertime if you're someone especially that doesn't like to go sockless. I know some of you guys absolutely hate that and you would never wear a pair of loafers with no socks on. So if that's the case for you, then a pair of no-show socks is an absolute must. I think also sometimes in the summer, it's okay to show a little bit more of your ankle, especially if you're someone that cuffs your pants um, and wears like a low, a low top sneaker or just a different kind of shoe in general. Um, I think a no-show sock is an absolute must. So some of you guys might try to fight me on this one and that's okay. If these are not your thing, that's totally fine. But I think they're a great option for a guy that doesn't wanna go sockless, but also doesn't wanna wear a pair of high socks with like low sneakers or a pair of loafers. So if that sounds like you, I think it's just nice to have a couple pairs handy in case you find yourself needing them. Number 15, arguably the most important thing on this list is sunscreen. If you guys know me at all, you know that I am a sunscreen junkie and I could not sit here and make a summer essentials list without adding sunscreen on it. Please, 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 if you never listen to any other advice I ever give you, if you're a don't ask a fish how to catch a fisher and you hate my guts, please at least listen to the fact that I'm telling you to wear sunscreen. Not only is it great for preventing wrinkles, helping with anti-aging, but it also protects you from skin cancer. And I know a lot of you will argue about the chemicals and all of that, but I know that there are a ton of natural options out there now if you're someone who doesn't love the idea of lathering your entire body with chemicals. So there's no excuse at this point, you can get yourself a natural sunscreen sunscreen or put zinc on your body, whatever the heck it is, just get yourself a sunscreen. So I know we're all aging. At some point, I'm going to have a bunch of wrinkles. You're going to have a bunch of wrinkles, but sunscreen really does help prevent that from happening faster and helps you age a lot more gracefully and protects you from skin cancer, which is super important to me. So like I said, if you take no other advice from this list, at least please go buy yourself some sunscreen. So guys, that is all I have for men's summer essentials for 2021. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I missed anything. What is your number one men's summer essential? Would love to hear it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there and I've been getting a lot of new followers, which is very exciting. I love connecting with all of you guys a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, doing Q and A's and just posting stuff that I think will really help you guys. Um, and a little bit more about me and my personal life. If that's something that you would be interested in seeing, definitely be sure to follow me there. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.